Okay, so we have a full cast of almost 15 to 16 different characters who are now officially known to be cast and starred and playing in One Piece Season 2 live action. Let's immediately start with the first one, but watch till the end to find out who will be playing Chopper. So the first cast member that we're going to start with is Princess Nefertari Vivi, or better known at the beginning as Miss Wednesday. She'll be playing by actress named Charitra Chandra, who is best known for her roles in the TV series Eternals and Bridgerton. Next off, we have Miss Valentine, who will be played by Jazara Jaslyn. Sorry if I'm butchering any names. She's also best known for a couple TV series, Lioness Professional and Warriors. Can't say that I watched or heard any of them, but we'll see how she plays out in the live action. The third uh, known role will be Cameras Johnson playing Mr. Five, our favorite boogeyman. Get it? Boogeyman? Okay, never mind. He's best known for his roles in the TV show Batwoman. Okay, number four, the actor or actress in number four is Julia Rechwal, playing our fav favorite Marine, Tashigi, the Zoro's nemesis. She wishes, right? She's best known for a very popular and a very good movie franchise, The Fear Street. I think it was done by Netflix, if I'm not uh, wrong. I actually watched those movies and I really love those movies. And I think this is a very nice cast. Can't wait to see how it plays out. Number five is Rob Coletti playing our favorite uh, antagonist, Vapo. Yeah, uh, he's not as famous as the previous actors. He has some movies or shows on IMDb page, The Many Saints of Newark, cartoon hookups and stuff like that. But I guess we'll see. Uh, how his role will pan out. Number six will be Callum Kerr or Kerr, can't really know if I'm saying it right, as Smoker. Uh, not gonna lie, one of my favorite Marines in all of One Piece and looking by the looks of this young handsome hunk, uh, it looks like it's a really 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 nice cast, you know, he really looks similar to Smoker as similar one can be an animated character and look going by the looks of it it's uh you know 10 out of 10 hopefully it does play out the same way i'm imagining it because he looks really cool and really fits the part of smoker uh, next part is katie siegel as dr kureha she's best known for a very very globally famous sitcom uh, married with children or love and marriage is the song you know El Bundy Ted Bundy no not sorry Ted Bundy El Bundy the guy then later on went uh, the actor played in the modern family so yeah we have a majorly famous uh, woman playing Dr. Kureha and I have no doubt uh, no doubt she will do a very good role and can't wait to see her on screen again after so many years I know she did some stuff in the meanwhile but you know nothing at as famous as Married with, Chil Married with Children, and that's certainly not as famous as One Piece is going to be. Okay, next one is Tyrone Keogh. Tyrone Keogh as Dalton. He is uh, kind of famous. He did uh, star in a couple of roles, like in the movie Blood Diamond with Leonardo DiCaprio, a smaller known TV series Dominion, and a movie 24 Hours to Live. Can't say that I watched any of that except for the movie Blood Diamond, but I don't remember him in it. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention to this character. Anyway, also fits the role almost perfectly by the looks of it. Can't wait to see him on the screen as well. Okay, next up is a One Piece character that appeared early on and doesn't appear so often, but probably has and will be a major role in the series as he already is actually. It's Crocus. Clive Russell will be playing Crocus. He is best known for some movies and series. Best known in the series is uh, that he acted on was Sherlock Holmes and the movie King Arthur. Okay, looking forward to that one as well. Next up is Brendan Murray as a very, very important role of Brogi, the giant. Uh, 
can't wait to see how the giants will be in the live action also as interesting to see them in action as chopper it's i'm guessing a difficult cgi thing to do but believing in one piece believing in oda hopefully it will turn out good because oda never disappoints uh, brendan is most known for a couple series here and there in movies i guess not can't say that i watched any of them uh, the one that stands out is Dark Matter. Anyway, can't wait to see him in the role in the role of Brogy. Next up is another villain, Mr. Nine, who will be played by Daniel Lasker, best known for the series Raised by the Wolves, I believe. Also, not as famous as some of the guys in the cast, but also looks like to fit the role. And can't wait to see him on screen as well. On screen as well. Next up is actually almost a powerhouse of an actor who is globally famous. Uh, he did a couple very, very, very famous movies and acting gigs. Uh, some of them are Oppenheimer, The Suicide Squad, and Doom. David Dasmalchian. Sorry for the butchering of the name again. As Mr. Three, who will be. A very important role in the one piece live action series and the one piece story don't want to spoil it but one piece fans really know him uh, actually looking forward because out of all the cast so far i think he is the most experienced one with the best and biggest roles out of everyone in the cast so far so really looking forward to seeing him him in action okay next up is sandhill ramamurthy I guess. He will be playing the role of Nefertari Cobra. Also a very impactful role in the One Piece series. Also a kind of globally famous actor. He did a lot of shows and movies. Some of the most known for is Covered Affairs, The Beauty and the Beast and Heroes. So his role is a major one as well and it should be really good to see him on screen. All right, the next up is Mark Harrelick as Dr. Hiruluk. Uh, he will also be playing a very impactful role and you know what I'm talking about for the One Piece fans, of course. Uh, he's mostly known for a small role, I guess, in Jurassic, Jurassic Park 3 and some other movies. So looking forward to seeing him in action because he will make an impact. Well, almost every One Piece character will make an impact on you, but his one, his one, his role is uh like an important one definitely all right and now sugar at the end uh cherry on top who will be playing chopper it is gavin gomes as chopper best known for his tv series black sales and warrior but he will only be playing chopper as heavy points chopper which shows us that they are still keeping a secret on the let's say his base form chopper and other points. So they're still, I guess, either working on it or keeping it a secret to make us uh, anticipate the show even harder than we are. Uh, okay, so what do you guys think about all these roles? Uh, are they hit on? Are they full miss? Are you looking forward to the One Piece live action season two? And who are you looking forward to seeing in One Piece live action? season two let me know in the comments and subscribe for more anime news and content thanks for watching and have a nice day guys